Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we have a chance to check a new kit from Model Collect. But first as usual let me invite you to check another video review with kit from the same manufacturer which you can find here. And of course don't forget to visit our website which you can find here. And also there you will be able to read full review article with this kit and also detailed photos and text in English and Russian. Um, as for today's model, this is a German E75, but this version is SPG gun with 128L55 main gun. And as you can see here, we have small list of features, so there is a PE set and also metal barrel included. Of course, this is a 70 second scale kit. Box design and size is quite typical here, you can see comparison with my hand size, it's not that big, as you can see it's slightly bent because of the shipment, because of the post, but everything inside should be intact, because box is quite sturdy as you can see. This is the top opening box, and here is what we have inside, so there is plenty of space, but note that this sprue is not packed into the plastic bag, while all other plastic sprues are packed into the separate plastic bag, and they are packed all together. Here we have lower pull part and decals, we will check all this later. Um, the most interesting sprue is this one. Because this frame is specific for this particular version of this model. And it comes only in this type of the tank. So as you can see we have one piece of hull part. Of course we have separate um, hatches, we have separate front gun mask. And of course we also have the separate uh, rear armor wall. So we will have to attach all those parts together with this one piece part. I think those uh, air vents will be also added with PE parts but we will see it further in the video review. And inside there is no detailing but don't forget that Model Collect announced that they will have interior kits for German E tanks. So it will be quite interesting to see how they will implement it in 70 second scale, of course. Here we have lower cool half. Uh, this one is molded as a one piece tub like part. As you can see, side panels are molded together with bottom panel and with front panel. The only thing you have to add is rear armor wall. So it's the same story as with top cool part. Other plastic sprues are packed all together into one plastic bag. Here you can see them all at once. But of course we will check them one by one. First one carries rear armor wall. Here it is. Next we have some parts for the turret. But obviously this won't be used in today's version of the tank because it's SPG gun, so there is no movable turret in the kit. Next we have two similar kits, uh, plastic sprues, sorry. Those are dedicated to the plastic tracks, which is an obvious improvement over previous vinyl parts. They should be easier to paint and to weather, so this is a, an obvious advantage for this kit. And then we have two more absolutely identical frames, those are dedicated to suspension parts, as you can see we have separate wheels, one piece wheels, uh, drive sprocket should be assembled out of two parts, separate suspension elements, here we even have exhaust, so all those parts will have to be added on the main hull. And here you can see the last grey plastic sprue, this one is dedicated to hull parts and various Accessories, for example, here we have pioneer tools, here we have side skirts, rear armor wall, and some structure elements. We will have to check the assembly manual in, in order to know what those are designed for. Here we have separate plastic bag with decal sheet. This one is, I would say, generic for all German tanks from this manufacturer, so nothing special. Good printing quality, I have experience with this and can say that this should be easy to apply in the model and as I said printing quality is also quite ok and this should look ok on the model. As you can see we also have here full number register so you will be able to replicate whatever version you would like to. And that's quite a handy feature with 
E tanks because as you know those are paper tanks which did not exist in reality. Next we have separate plastic bag with metal parts. Metal parts include PE threads. Here you can see them. Note that this one will be used for the main barrel for the uh, muzzle silencer as far as I know. And here we have metal barrel. As you can see it's quite nice part. Here you will have to add the P part and then it will be nicely looking metal barrel. Next we have assembly manual. This one is a typical model collect brochure. As you can see we have this nice front white mm, page. Then we have short history note and some safety devices, parts map. And then of course assembly process starts. As you can see here we have to wrap P part over the metal barrel. Um, note that there is a special contour balance in order to balance the main uh, metal barrel and as usual there is only one marking option which was developed in cooperation with Ammo Mic. but of course nobody limits you from uh, making something different from this one so that's all for this video review as you can see this is another nice kit from Model Collect which should be interesting to assemble and I will be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below and don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends maybe they will like this tank too and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get all fresh video reviews on time as usual I will see you in the next video review bye